Anyway, look, what I started to talk about was um, going back to Source Dubious. Yes. Um, and I'm going to leave this as Source Dubious because um, I was in London last week and uh, we, we visited various bits, places, including the Elephant and Castle, and we saw the London College of Communication, right. which is part of the University of the Arts London. Yes. And I'm making a big study of the... Um, sort of commercial end of universities, how it all works. Have you got any more plans uh, lined up to go up there? Well, the we might go up there, or we might just re sort of research them at a distance. Right. Because it was quite an interesting thing you had to say, that the, um, the University of Arts London has bought several sites, and it's always suggested they might merge some of these sites together. Mm. But they never do. Mm. So they've got an art school in Camberwell, but they've got other art schools in other places. I do think it's all it's all still there. Mm. I do think we should actually still do the British Library thing, but carry on. Oh yeah, well, oh yeah, we'll get to the British Library. Well, that's King's Cross. Yeah, but carry on. So there's a bit of the University of Arts London in King's Cross, which is a dramatic building, mm. and then they're going to go to the um, Stratford bit near the Olympic Park. There's yes. another dramatic building going to be there. Yes. And then uh, people thought um, there would be another dramatic building at the Elephant and Castle. But Source Dubious has suggested mm. that they'll, they might not need buildings by the time that comes around. Um, it might be about three years' time. And well, they'll need buildings, but do they need so many buildings? They might take the essence of um, the Elephant and Castle and redistribute it. Because could, um, could, uh, there's lots and lots of housing still going up, or flats. Be good if they if it be good if they could make the tube station accessible. Uh they've got two. How many tube stations have they got at the Elephant? Don't they know. can't all be accessible. I expect I expect you can go, you can come out of one one entrance, but not go back down another one. Yes. Something like that. It's all very. <laughs> it's, all, it's all a very stressful experience, isn't it? Well, that's why I think there's only certain parts of London it's sensible to go to. Like yes. we, we found the um, the Dockland Light Railway is great. Once you once you get as far at it, yeah. once you get to it, the space around it is very good, isn't it? Yes. Well, you seem to like it. Yeah. Well, I like it as well. I mean, I, I can cope with stairs, but I do, I do, it just seems quite a modern <laughs> modern part. Yes. Anyway, we'll see whether Source Dubious has got a point there. Yeah, or not. Uh, that will come over the time. Maybe in a couple of years' time. If he's listening, then that will be obvious. Uh, he wants to be called Source Obvious. He doesn't think what he has to say is dubious. He thinks. It's Did you mention the idea of him wanting to be called Source Obvious on the radio? No, he 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 said um, he'd now like to be known as Source Obvious, but I'm not sure everything he has to say is in fact obvious. I'm sure if you asked the University of the Arts London whether they plan to sell off some of their buildings, they would say no. Well, I'm sure he's maybe he's got some insight. You know, no. Oh, he's just guessing, isn't he? He's just guessing. He used to be. Used to be an, um, well, he used, he used to work for the NHS looking after buildings. So he might have some idea. He, yeah. Who knows? He, he, well, who knows? <laughs> who but knows? you don't seem very confident. Well, no. Because I mean, well, no, I'm not confident about anything. Because they will need any any shops in the future. Are there too many housing developments? Mm. Well, I think it's all it's all quite vague. Right. I'm sure the university arts will have some sort of communication going on. Right. But where it will be, perhaps it'll be there and other. Mm. Well. Time will tell, wouldn't it? Time will tell. Now, that's a very s solid phrase. Time will indeed tell. Anyway, now it's definitely time uh, to get on with some more music. And